Hey, what up, guys? It's Julia Van Speaker, and who we got on the show today? Kenny Money. Kenny oh, Money. Paper, paper Route Business. Exactly. I'm excited. We got a Paper Route Empire signee on today. This is probably one of the most honorable things we could do right now, especially honoring the legend that is Young Dolph and you keeping everything alive and you have a new album dropping February 11th. Time is money. Let's go. Time is money. Uh, by the way, I do like all of your um, how you label all your albums because it stays it's, it, it carries your name in it, obviously. So you got yeah. the you got the much money and then you had money. The, the last project you just had before time is money, which was money talk. So yeah. let's talk about this new album and how it differs from your last couple of projects that you put out over the years. Time is money. The title itself kind of lets you know the difference. It's like, and I spent a lot of, of course, I haven't dropped in two years, you know what I mean? So it took, I spent a lot of time on this project, you know what I'm saying? I did a lot. It's like I learned a lot in this time. I've grown a lot, you know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? And my, I feel like I done got way harder with okay. the time. I done made a lot of money within the time. I done did a lot of stuff within the time. So time is money. Time is money, and we can't waste any of it. I feel like we might turn into, I don't know if you ever seen that movie Time with Justin Timberlake and Amanda Sigfrey, where literally time becomes the currency. Oh, yeah, <laughs> I feel I like we too. might have to, we might turn into that at some point. Might need to be a video next. <laughs> exactly. It's called What's Time. Well, in time. In time. time. In time. Yeah, which just, it came out like years ago. Like they would like they they put like the time clocks on their wrists and that's how they got gotta, paid by time. I gotta give you a credit. Gotta give you some. Hey, credit. listen, if we if we gonna be throwing <laughs> out ideas because I wanted to talk about your videos too. So I would love to see you get more creative with your videos because you do stay very humble and very true. There's no gimmicks with your videos. It's yeah. very you. So do you do the treatments for your videos? Because I was watching Petro, which I like, and it reminds me a lot of Narcos from your last project. Do you yeah. do treatments or anything and you, you get I do, into that? I come up with the idea, I come up with the treatments, you know. I'm just real creative and I got a team that lets me be creative. So it leads, I just come up with whatever comes to my mind, whatever ideas, ain't nothing too far-fetched. Absolutely. And I know you have your own personal engineer, so do you have your own personal videographer that's constantly always yeah, I got a, I got a videographer that I, I've been locked in with for a long time. Awesome, awesome. It's like so Miles. Miles, shout out to Miles, by the way. Shout out to my dog Miles, about 35 miles. <laughs> hey, I like that, 35 miles. <laughs> so with you having Petro and Back End Freestyle as your leading singles from your new project, mm-hmm. what's your single that you feel like, out of everything on your project, What are the, which one of the singles do you feel like is going to recreate the success that you had with FR, which, by the way, for real, i not trying to be funny, but for real, I did like that track a lot, and the YTN Freestyle as well. Thank you. Um, I don't know, cause a lot of this, a lot of a lot of this tape is a lot of that right there. Like mm. those songs, it's a lot of that type of music. It's like I went back into my mode on this album. Like I was just in my mode. It's probably the best me. I'm telling you. So it's like if I had to pick on a certain song, it'd be real hard. But I would say one of my favorite songs for me is "I Can't Make This Up," just because. Mm. It's a lot of, I, I ain't making nothing up. It's like, it's kind of, it's kind of just basically letting you know, like all this stuff you about to hear, all this stuff you listening to, like you gotta know, it's authentic. It ain't nothing fake, made up, fraudulent, nothing. It's hey, love it. If you if you wrote it, you lived it. Yeah, all right though. Oh, you you're right off the dome. So, so let's talk I, about so that. So if I think it, I live it. You think? Oh wow! So how long does it actually take you to to get in the booth to get a full song out? It depends on how I'm feeling. It mm. depends. Sometimes if I, it depends on which way I'm going. Cause I still, even though I freestyle, like I punch in, I still try to make sure yeah. I don't just say anything. I'm still gonna think it out. It's gonna right. be. It don't take me long though. It don't take no time. So have you actually maybe thought about, or have you in the past? I know some people get upset when this is brought up. But I don't know if you want to like kind of throw it out there. If you have, have you ghost written for anybody? Nah, I ain't goes real for nobody. Would you consider think, it? Yeah, they might give me a real back row though. Okay, okay. All right, that's not bad. Cause I gotta go live it to write it for them. 
So it's like, Damn. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like, like let me think you, about this for a second. Sending you my life, so you gotta give me. You gotta be worth it. It ain't just you know. You gotta be worth it. You wouldn't do like no crazy like mainstream tracks for say somebody like what if Drake hit you up today or tomorrow and say, hey man, I need a a ghost right real quick from you. I'm on the way. Hey. Where, I need, <laughs> where you? Where I need to be? Where I'm going? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. And I know that you said in the past that you really prefer to uh, have female collaborators. And I know that you collaborate frequently with your label mates. Would you reconsider actually collaborating with somebody else that you haven't had the chance with that's maybe not from Memphis or from Memphis? Yeah, it just, as long as it makes sense. When I do songs with people, I just want it to make sense. Mm. You know, I ain't just doing it because of who you are. I gotta mm-hmm. like your music first of all. I ain't. I'm, I gotta like your music because I want to listen to it. If I'm on the song, I want to listen to it. So when I do features, it's like even if I want somebody on my song, I gotta hear it. Like damn, you, me and this person to sound good. Or if you try to pay me for a feature, be like, if I don't even like the song, I'm real enough. I'm not gonna just do it for the money. I'm like, hey, bro, you ain't got another song, but you know, like you know, I try to help a person because I want to listen to the song. Mm-hmm. I like listening to music, so. Yeah, I collaborate with anybody. I definitely love it. And you got into rap, speaking of that, because you said you love music, you definitely got into rap at a super young age. I believe, uh, was it 11 or 15? 15. 15. So yeah. what made you actually say, hey, I'm really good at rapping. This is something that I want to pursue full time. Uh, when I used to throw out little songs and videos and people actually was listening to him like mm. I used to be at school and people come like I like I make a little mini video put it on Facebook so now I come to school and the whole class like rapping it like damn what y'all know about that yeah. I was just joking I'm thinking I'm joking but they like it <laughs> so I just kept doing it kept trying it and just see I was like hey one day I just went up went and bought a little microphone and bought a little laptop you know what I'm saying and just That's what I'm talking about. recording myself and I was like they start liking it more and liking it more. Then what made me know that I need to do it because when people started not liking it, it was like, damn. It's like, <laughs> it's like, damn, they like it when they don't like it. So what I need to do to make them like it again, they'll, they'll go to hard work and okay. went from there. Absolutely. And I know you got a lot of love coming from Memphis. So how does that love translate? How did it translate outside of Memphis? Because obviously you have a wider mm-hmm. audience than you did before. I think it's because of what I talk about. It's mm. like people relate. I make music for people that can relate. I'm not trying to be in another line that I'm just supposed to be in. I, right. So I feel like it's a lot of people that I've been through what I've been through or seen what I've seen. So it'd be like they relate and it just spreads like that. Absolutely. So with, you know, the unfortunate passing of young Dolph, how has time as money honored him and how have you put a little bit of sprinkle of his flair on this new project? Me and Dolph, one thing about Dolph, like when we when we um when we drop our projects, first off he lets us let us we tell him what songs we like, what we you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? But he also handpicks his own songs that's like this my shit. And right. on this project, it was a lot of that's what I'm saying, it was like my best work I was so hard, he was mm-hmm. like, bro, he liked every single song. So wow. I tried even after the, you know, the incident, mm-hmm. it's like it's like I tried to make sure the revisions that we did make, mm. like me and my CEO, we just tried to make sure that we didn't go outside the box more to where it's still hand touched by, you know, though. So this really is for him for sure. I gotta Absolutely. go crazy with it. Now you definitely do because you now you gotta really take this and honor him because sure. a lot of people, you know, loved his music and. I definitely was a small fan. I'm not going to say I'm a huge fan, but I definitely right. paid attention to Young Dolph. So with that being said, the compilation album, you're literally all over that. Was that something that you guys did together? Like he decided he really wanted you like on so many tracks or was it something that the, the team felt like you're going to take over and now you're going to be at this level and just kind of carry it and run like a quarterback. With, the, comp- with the compilation, it's like Dolph, it's like how the team set everything up. It's just everybody, everybody just shines. It's not a mm. big eye, a little you. It's like mm. everybody's gonna shine. Everybody has that. It's like everybody has their own variation of songs on the on the compilation. So it's more so not about 
who's going to take over is more so mm. about each of us making each other better and like complimenting each other. You know what I mean? Definitely. So, I, do. I like that. At least it's yeah. like y'all are on one page, one understanding where nobody else shines the other. Y'all going to eat. Y'all going to eat together. Love exactly. That. So what's the next single you're about to drop off of Time is Money? They got to see. They got to ah! <laughs> tell, 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 tell you later, but I can't. I can't Not tell yet. them. They got to tune in. They just got to stay watching. I'm like, it's some big stuff I'm going to do with Time is Winning, so they just need to be prepared. I love I it. Know. They know how Paper Rap do it. Every time we do it, we do it big, so they know. Absolutely. Do you have a video already shot for it? Yeah, a lot of videos. So oh wow! So you really I might, shoot, I might shoot every video on these motherfuckers. <laughs> hey, listen, if you have a, if you create the visual part of this album, I think you'll do very well. People love visuals. Plus, your songs are not overwhelmingly like it, it fits for today, where the attention span you can still get a lot out of the song, and it's not like you you're being lost. Right, like a couple right. of your songs, I was like, wait, it's over already. Like it, it felt like that. Like I was like, wait a minute, so yeah. I had to run it back a couple times because I'm like, that was that's what too I fast. want you. That's what I want you to do. Run it back, <laughs> run it again, run it again. Exactly. Yeah. So, are you going on tour soon to support this album? Most definitely, we're putting it's getting put together. Absolutely. And what cities are you looking to tour? I want to go everywhere. I hey, listen. Care. I want to go wherever they want me. And I'm trying to be there. <laughs> Absolutely. I'm on the way. And if they don't want me, then I'm still coming. I'm on the way. <laughs> you said, Listen, I'm still picking up my bag regardless. So come on um, now. <laughs> yeah. All right. So this is my favorite part of the show. It's called Five Fast Facts. You got to drop five facts about yourself that your fans don't already know. And it's got to be quick. So you can't they, be that like. They don't, that they don't know. That they don't know. You got to give us some good gems. And I know you got some. I know you definitely got some good gems. They gotta be fast. How fast? They gotta be fast, like super fast. All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> when you want me to start? Now. <laughs> I get my feet done here and there. Okay, that's a good one. Uh, I love it. I like women. <laughs> it's two. Uh, <laughs> what you got for three? One of my feet bigger than the other one. No way. Oh, I that's think good. so. Okay, okay. That's a, that's a good fact. What you got for number four? I can't really see. No. I'm a, I'm you wear a, glasses? A, no, I wear glasses. I think I can see, but people tell me I can't see, but I know I can't see, so I'm going to tell y'all the truth. I can't really see. Nah, you got to get some glasses. Listen, join the gang. It, it ain't nothing wrong with it. Team glasses. You got to get yeah, the glasses. Yeah, yours hard. Listen, you got to get the gold. Listen, you got to get the gold, man. Quavo inspired me. One day I'm going to get them all diamond out. Listen, you got to join the gang, man. Glasses gang is it's real. Oh, what's that? Three? Uh, we, we got one more. Number five. You you went to number, number five. four. Number five. Uh, damn, that ain't fast no more. Bro. Nah, but you, you almost there. You, I'm, you almost allergic, there. I'm, allergic, I'm allergic to seafood. Oh, damn. Now that sucks. Sorry. Yeah, I've been on like seafood. a fish diet so far. Salmon and... uh. Mahi Mahi and tilapia. I'm, so like, far. I'm like a I'm like a chicken terrier. I don't eat number chicken. Well that's good. At least at least you're not eating red meat. I know red meat's not all that great for you. I don't eat red meat or pork. All right. So you you you're basically healthy. That's like a little straight, good one. Straight chicken and essential. I feel you. I feel you on that. I switched over from essential to oxygen water. Really? So, yeah. I, What's up with oxygen water? The oxygen water doesn't really have anything, but like, um, it's supposed to have like H, not H2O is what I was about to be the dumbest thing I've said. I think CO2, a little bit of CO2 in it. So there's yeah. like literally no ingredients in it. I stopped drinking the essential water because they said there was something in it. I researched it. It was a big word I can't pronounce. And I was yeah. like, I'm good. <laughs> and I was drinking essential water for years, for years. And I was ordering cases and cases. And I was like, I fall back off of that. So I just found a water that had being, like nothing being in it. Being healthy, being healthy, gonna have you around a long time. Exactly. Yes. And if you're long around a long time, guess what you gonna have? <laughs> a good healthy a lot life. Of, a lot and a lot of money. Time and money, exactly. I'm trying to time, be like you. Time is money. Exactly. Drop in February 11th. Make sure y'all exactly. cop that, stream that, download yeah. as many times, run it back like I have been. Although yeah. we, we can only run back the two singles right now, but I've been running them back regardless. <laughs> 
I'm a gem. I'm something you gotta when you find it, you're stuck. Exactly. I couldn't yeah. believe I, I wasn't like on it sooner. So I'm like, oh shit, okay. I like this. Yeah. I like this a lot. Memphis rappers, y'all have like a very interesting cadence, very chill, very calm. I like yeah. it. And y'all be saying real stuff. But it's like you yeah. like, wait, what? Did he just say that? That was mad calm. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. But I love it. Thank you so much for dropping by, Kenny. I really appreciate you for taking the time out your busy schedule to talk to us today. It's Anytime. been a pleasure. Anytime. And I can't I wait for the tour. You. I appreciate y'all. Absolutely. All right. I'm Julie Vance. This is Kenny Money. Thank you guys so much for watching and listening. <laughs>